Singapore is moving to restrict remote gambling, which refers to gambling via the internet or any communication device such as a smartphone. The proposed measures could be among the most comprehensive in the world. They are accessible anytime, anywhere, with some sites clearly targeting the Singapore market. There are currently no specific laws to deal with remote gambling here, and there are concerns over its social impact. A lot of the internet gambling websites that are unregulated, they have odds that are just practically fraudulent. And we have to protect our own community. An online survey of about 1,000 internet users here showed that about a third had gambled remotely at least once in the past year. 58% are men. They are relatively young. 64% are between the ages of 25 and 44. And 75% spend up to two hours a week on remote gambling. The most common forms, casino-type games, sports betting and poker. Authorities add that remote gambling operations can also become a source or conduit of funds for illegal activities and syndicated crime. These are very much in jurisdictions beyond Singapore. Uh, the integrity of the system, the risks they pose are well beyond our, manage our ability to control. And therefore, we need to make sure that this is tightly controlled in the Singapore context. So new laws will be in place. Gambling websites will be blocked. So too, payments to remote gambling operators and advertisements promoting remote gambling prohibited. I think it's probably more comprehensive than any other jurisdiction has ever attempted. Many jurisdictions have started off at attempting to ban, and some still do, but they have never backed it up with the technical measures. There may, however, be some exemptions to allow a limited form of remote gambling. We would have to be very satisfied, and our officials and authorities need to be convinced that first, uh, it will be very tightly controlled. Uh, that is in terms of who can get access, how it will be managed, the integrity of the system, and of course, uh, for a very, very prescribed and narrow range of products. The measures may ultimately not be foolproof, but Mr. Warren says they will impede access and send a clear signal on Singapore's regulatory stance. It's estimated that the remote gambling market in Singapore could be worth some 300 million US dollars, and it's expected to grow by 6 to 7 percent annually. Well, nothing is cast in stone yet. A public consultation exercise will be rolled out over the next few weeks to get stakeholders to weigh in on the issue. The new laws are expected expected to be in place by early next year. Well, councillors tell us the government's moves will work to keep some people from getting addicted to online gambling. But technology experts feel the restrictions can only have a limited effect. Remote gambling has been described as even more dangerous than going to the casinos. The key thing to uh, online gambling would be the ease of access. By restricting access to these websites, um, you definitely reduce a lot of harm already. Latest statistics from the National Council on Problem Gambling show that only 1% of those surveyed participated in online gambling in 2011. But experts say the numbers are expected to increase. Online gamblers have been found to have the poorest self-control with no curbs in terms of age even a 16 year old can go online to gamble you may ask but perhaps you know without a credit card it may be difficult but so long as they can find someone who is a bookie and help them they can do it they can gamble online the government intends to introduce measures to block access to gambling websites and block payments to remote gambling operators but the effect may be limited uh, there are virtual currency in which is not being controlled by any particular companies, not controlled by the government. So meaning that there's no chance or no way that Singapore government can uh, approach someone to say, you know, help me to block it. So it's basically a people-to-people uh, uh, -people transaction and things like that. So using those kind of virtual currency, you can effectively bypass any kind of blockage mm -hmm. that people can put on a payment system. Some banks impose processes to determine the nature of businesses when it comes to e-commerce. For example, a city blocks any charge of online gambling on its credit cards. Advertisements promoting remote gambling may also be prohibited. But there may be ways to get around it. 
Besides using the traditional search engines such as Google or, or Yahoo, um, people do go to a forum uh, for discussion. So all this discussion where, where they post, where they have the posting of the online gambling website, uh, these are considered, you know, a, a kind of a alternative kind of uh, advertisement. So uh, this should be part of the consideration from the government viewpoint to actually remove them as well. As the government considers restricting remote gambling, it also intends to allow a limited form of such gambling. Councillors say a minimum age restriction for remote gambling may then be needed.